As someone who's been playing around in Signalis' code for several weeks now, there are some times when you just find something rather cool and you're like, hey, I want to share it with others. And seeing as I have the great chance of being a YouTuber, I am able to do exactly that. So I'd like to be able to have a quick little video here in order to quickly cover some of the things that can be found in the code that I figured would be some a decent amount of fun to talk about. So with no more delay, let's just get right into this. <laughs> First up, we got the secret folk. So as most people hopefully know by now, in nowhere, after one kills the Chimera, in order to reawaken Issa, one must go back up the ladder and go through where previously there was a warning. In this room is a room that is very similar to Folk's room, but just in a nowhere variant, being bleak and dark and fleshy. However, if one goes into the code, they will find a deactivated Folk body. Reactivating this folk body finds her in the same pose that she ultimately finishes the game with, impaled by her spears and quite dead. Re-enabling more we can play around with this scene to make it look far more flashy and restore many of folk's assets. I'll play some quick camera pans of that now. Next up, we got the lost concept arts in the Xbox files. If you're on the Reddit, you've likely seen these go in the rounds, and for good reason. These concept arts are some of the simplest form of the game we've been able to see, and it's quite fun being able to see these ideas that are in-game in their simplest forms. Looking through these images gives us a glimpse at an older version of the game that we really never got to see. So I'll showcase those now. Finally, we have Finally, we have a cut version of Adler as a boss. Currently, no demonstrable form of this is available, however, poking around in Unity Explorer, we can see an unused room, and this room is called Somewhere. Investigating this code, we see code for an entire cut room that never got to see the light of day, as well as the code for Adler as an enemy, with all proper setup for that. 
As of the moment of this recording, modders have not found a way to properly restore this as a mod. However, if they do, I'll be sure to let you know, and I'll also be working on it myself. That's all I've got for you guys today, though. One last thing, if you'd like to speak to other Signalis players, I have updated the links in my description, and hopefully they should be working. Prior, they weren't working, but they should be working now. This has been Christopher Beast. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you all well next time.